Hey guys, this is Sora Wave from Take Care and welcome back to our channel. And today I've got EOS CP, the EOS Cypher ROM for Redmi Note 4, and it is for the Snapdragon 625 edition, which is available in India. So, if you're using the X20 edition, it's not for you guys. I'm sorry for that. So, EOS CP running on Nougat, everything is good, but not. Well, I don't recommend you to use the ROM. Don't go for this ROM. Don't fall for all the extra features that it has included. The developer option doesn't work at all and I'm pissed up. I'm just pissed with the whole fact. And there are some instability issues. I'm not happy with the camera outputs either. Video calling option is not there and that's accepted. But uh, really, there are some you know lagging in the ROM while I was using the phone so i really thought it's not the best rom right uh, out now you should go for you can see the settings is not responding that stuff is happening whenever you press the developer option so we better go for the usb extended rom that i did earlier in the you can easily check that video in our channel or i will put that in the cards or in the description in everywhere so go for that rom i really love the rom yes although this uh, phone this rom has got better uh, customization and features like this nightlight a uh, kind of a reading mode in xiaomi if you're using it for quite a long time i mean the MIUI. so yeah nightlight is there and few other extra uh, features of you know customization on the notification panel and whatnot and also the customization with some gestures yes this gesture support is there there is the status bar and you can easily do uh, stuff with that like AM, PM, day, time and a lot of options are there. I don't go in depth with the customization hub because it will take around even more 15 minutes. So if you're gonna risk uh, your device with this ROM, go for it. Links in the description and do your stuff the way you want. Well, uh, the system, there are uh, some a few tweaks that you can easily do like one handed mode, home button animation, uh, power button, scrolling, uh, you know, scrolling whatever it is i just forgot to mention that anyways guys if you really i really do believe that my rom videos are getting monotonous so if you think that i should stop making rom videos do let me know via the comment section below i really personally feel that every day every morning i'm coming up with new roms which i am personally not uh, i'm personally telling you not to go for i just it's my duty to show you the new roms are out there here are the bugs here are the pro side here are the con side and uh, if you wanna go for it, go go for it. This is my job right here. But if you think that I should stop doing this, do let me know. And yes, there are the uh, in the drop down menu. You can easily do a lot of stuff with that. Add few options are there. And there was a specific option of the GPU. Uh, yes, that's a good option to be honest. And the benchmarking score is very low to be honest, around 10% deep. Uh, on the average, I, I get a score of around 62,000. I get a score of around 57,000. That's a 10% deep. And yes, full D calling does work. So I'm gonna press the red button. I'm not gonna press the one or two. Anyways, uh, the full D calling does work, and there was a glitch in the dialer. I noticed that. Now coming to the camera, I'm not seeing the camera app doesn't work, it does work without any hassle, I have no issues with that, but the output is not up to the mark. I prefer the output from the AOSP extended ROM, I really love the ROM guys, the AOSP extended, go for that ROM, don't go for it. And also, uh, somehow I feel that the camera is cannot calibrate all the you know lighting at at all. I really feel that there is nothing. Something is actually missing from the whole output. Although it might seem okay to you, but as I have used a lot of ROMs and a lot of camera apps, I somehow feel that something is missing from the camera app. And also the focusing is not that much crisp like it was in the AOSP. I'm actually comparing with the AOSP because that's the best ROM out there. And then coming, uh, there is no crop factor, but the jello effect is visible. Uh, the jello effect is everywhere. It should be in the Redmi Note 4 because the sensor is not that much powerful. No crop effect is a crop uh, factor is a good thing, but uh, I would still say go for the <laughs> USB extended. I'm making a video on this cipher and I'm praising the extended. <laughs> what a guy I am. Anyways, uh, this is all for today. I hope you like this video, and if you really love this video. Don't you, why don't you share with your friends and all the other uh, social sites so guys do like and share this video with your friends and other sites put it on if you don't like it do subscribe to our channel for the videos and other videos are in the cards so make sure to check that stay awesome stay subscribed